Hi guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa. I'm a chemical process engineer and I'm doing this video to share with you uh, day in the life of a chemical engineer. As you may know, I'm here in uh, external work to do uh, site survey and the object, objective of this work is to do the as built of a uh, process plan. And now, today, I would like to talk to you about the processes, process flow diagram because I'm working hard in this document and maybe you would like to know how, how I'm doing that and what's the, the reason to, to do that. Well, the plant is very old and during the years the, a lot of information was changed without the, the appropriate, the, the appropriate uh, verification and, and file. And now I'm here to verify the process and build a process flow diagram that was in the plants nowadays. And Usually the process flow diagram is one of the first documents to be done but in this case as the plant is already running for more than 30 years I'm doing the opposite. I'm checking the, the installation, I'm walking through the area, the process area and fixing that or taking notes in a paper to, to draw to draw, to do the drawing in the AutoCAD or another software. In this project, I'm I'm hand handle, I'm using the AutoCAD software. And the the big issues is that as the there is no documentation to to verify what the process is, I rely on in the operation step, step of the plant. So I need the process engineer support of the plant, I need the, the operator support of the plant because they know or they have the information about what's going on in the, in the plant. And uh, what I can do is run the, follow the process and I start at the beginning where the raw material comes in and I take notes, I will show you a, a schematic, I will show you a schematic in when I were, I will show you a schematic and I need to verify what is the each step of the process and, and inform in a diagram how is the process of the, the pro product. And uh, this plant has uh, some areas of processing and I'm, I'm only work, my scope is only work about one of them, so I will not take all the process from the, the, the raw material to the final product. But in my scope of design, I, I have those ones. And once the, I have the, the draft of this drawing, I will share with the, the customer and he will do some comments on that to verify if he agrees or, or, or with the information I, I, I got. And that is the, the preliminary work and we need also to I need also to, to fix the stamps of the, the drawing and legend and and things related to the, the the doing the drawing itself and not a, about the process to, to have a drawing with a good quality. And this process and there are two processes that I'm looking looking for. And one of them is uh, the dusting, the dusting system, because we have some uh, crushing process and some 
or the material classification that that uh, generates a lot of dust in the field and the dust be, can be very hazard to the to the employees and for that reason we need to to make sure that all the dust can can be collected for the the dusting system and but uh, the dusting system is not the the primary or the main system in this plant so it is a uh, uh, a, a little bit uh, without maintenance and there is a lot of inefficiency in this process so I needed to verify the sequence where each point of the, the dusting is exists and fix that in a, in a draft after that I will draw the, the draft in an AutoCAD and once it's complete, I will stamp it as like preliminary, and discuss, and I will discuss with the customer about the the process flow diagram, and add the add the, he or her comments to have a, a final document, and. After that, that will be issued to the customer and the job will be done. And that is, it can be easy if you have all the information we need, but that's not the case, so it's taking more time than expected. Expected, expected. I was supposed to be here only for two weeks, but uh, I'll be in fact with three weeks or more than that and that is how the uh, it's a little bit of the process engineer in the in a life uh, this kind of job is when we are working in a, in a project office and we need to travel to do our work and there are some process engineer that only works in the, in the office but I'm working the office and also in the plant and that is very rewarding because I can know or I can I can visit new places but that is very pushing also because we have relatives and uh, we have relatives or or parents or a spouse, a wife and husband in, in our homes and sometimes it is very stressing to, to be uh, out of home for a uh, too long of time, to a uh, too long period of time. In my case, uh, in my case, uh, my wife is fought me a lot so uh, I, I have no more trouble about that and so I think that uh, for today is this and I hope you like it if you have uh, any comments or issues about uh, process engineering a day in the life just, just uh, put that in the comments okay so bye bye guys see you soon